So, cactus of the day. Let me show you some of the larger ones. These get very large. They aren't right now because the roof is the limit, unfortunately. But these have the potential to become like very big, very tall. And I have a few in here that have already reached the roof again. These here will reach the roof within this summer, probably. So yeah, that's unfortunately something that I cannot, cannot stop. Where I live, the winters get really cold. So a greenhouse is necessary and a, a huge greenhouse like taller than two meters costs a lot of money. Um, a cheap greenhouse is, is cheap, but a good one where you can put them in winter, not so much. So here's a paper wasp. I'm living with these guys for at least five or six years. They come back every year and build their nest into my greenhouse. And these are not these kind of yellow jacket wasps. I'm trying to get a better view. They have a very um, thin belly and absolutely not aggressive these are super nice I have never been stung by them and they always like get the, the insects that try to eat my cacti so it's a win-win paper wasp this one just takes a break on my cactus. I think it's a bumblebee or would be. I don't know. I'm sure she will eat a hole into the whole cactus. Would not surprise me at all. But yeah, I allow it. I don't know what this guy what this guy is doing like. Looks like gymnastics. Hmm. But again, I allow it. This will be a first flower. I don't think I've seen this flowering before. So this is great. This is one of the first flower buds that I'm seeing this year. Grafted plant. Maybe two and a half years from seed to to this to flowering this is great can't wait to see what's coming from the, from this one nice i'm proud of myself hey brosef stink bug i think it's not an insult I think they, they are called like this. And right now they are everywhere. I really have no problem with insects around my plants. I don't care. I consider my cacti part of the, you know, the, ecos the ecosystem. They are part of nature. And if a, like if an insect wants to take a bite, I don't care. I don't care. I have so many, I have way too many anyways, so I just leave them be. Life is short, especially for an insect. I hope they enjoy it. In here, this is where we start. I move all of these plants outside. Because I dropped a, a fruit, a cactus fruit back there, like that fell from the plant during winter and I want that there's some good seeds in there and I really want to get to them before they like rot or worse get eaten by the slugs and stuff so yeah I will move all of these out tomorrow and then I can you know walk into the greenhouse again which is great which haven't hasn't happened all winter
Yeah. All right. Hey, friend. He's a little sluggish. Sluggish dude hanging around. There's a spider creeping around. There's an ant. I just love that where I live, the ecosystem is still intact. I don't believe in lawns. I believe in like natural habitat. This kind of stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you need to cut it back. But you need... All these insects need a place to live, you know. So... I have like, I'm not rich, I I have very little money, but I got some land that's going way into the forest and I leave it just for the animals. I don't care. I hope they enjoy it. Here are the seedlings after maybe two weeks of watering. They are already starting to look great. Still early on, but you can already see some flower buds here. Yeah, looking good. Give me another month and these will be totally happy and enjoying the summer. Still some minor problems from winter. As you can see here, this is a sunburn. This here, this was attacked by slug and now it's healed and it will continue to grow. There are always problems in winter, but that's not a problem for me. Check this out. Here's a flower bud. This will be a first flower. In the next days, I will start moving plants out of this greenhouse. I already wanted to do it today, but I had so pain. I was so in pain. Um, I have like a chronic problem with my jaw and it's like torture sometimes. So yeah, but I will get to that tomorrow or so. I already did some work in the morning and uh, yeah, you know how it is. Sometimes you just have to make it through the day and the next day will be better.